Hello, you have reached the Calentier internal decision meeting for January of 2019. Um, I am Dorcas Ayas and I am having difficulty with my computer. So I am going to have the camera turned off the whole time. And I seem to have an echo. Oh, dear. Uh, so anyway, let us introduce ourselves and hope for the best. Um, Herveus, will you start? Hi, I'm Herveus Dormond, Morseless Herald, etc. Here I am. And welcome, uh, Serafina. Hi, I'm Serafina Delfino. I'm current Ragged Staff Herald and from Atlantia. And welcome. a baby pelican. And welcome, uh, Serafina. Hi. Wow, I'm really getting an echo. Sorry about that. Uh, Giovanni, how about you go? Uh, I'm Giovanni Lodonan. Welcome. Uh, current Kite Herald uh, reporting deputy for Calentier. Um, and otherwise, I have no other titles. Yay. Yay. Zanita, how about you? Hello, I am Zanita Basagio. I currently am a herald at large with no responsibilities other than one of the event stewards for this year's Known World Heraldic and Scribal Symposium. Cool. Kathleen, I see you are on mute. Will you unmute and introduce yourself? Hi, I am Kathleen Inyanwee Lachlane. Uh, I newly registered Sinister Herald, which is the group herald for the Canton of Axed Root, and I have a lot of background noise going on, so I'll be on mute for most of the call. Okay. Uh, Brigida. Hi, everybody. I'm Brigida von München. I am Gold Falcon Principal Herald for Kalantir. Welcome, everybody. Um, Gottfried says that he will join as uh, soon as he can make his computer uh, stop acting up. So let us just go straight down to the, the letter and let's start at the top. Uh, it is the internal letter dated 1228 of 2018. Uh, so the first item is Adelaide Eloise La Cantora, a name change. I found no conflicts. Any issues at all? All right, I'll mark that one as uh, just forward to Laurel. Uh, the next item is a name and device, starting with the name for Alton Augarius Adamus. No issues? Nothing interesting to say? I'm his consulting herald, so I... Mm. Are we concerned with the Latinization of two parts, but not the third? Well, it's a German, French, and German names on family search. I, I don't know. There shouldn't be a problem with that. Okay. Um... I've, I've dealt with some registrations as a consulting herald before where we've had some Latin and some non and some German then. Okay. I'm just, just wanted to bring it up. So it was brought up. Yep. Well, then I'll mark that as uh, forward to Laurel. Now the device. Oh, let me get to where I can actually read the blazon. Here we are. Um, Quarterly Argent and Sable, two maces in saltier ghouls, and on a chief purpure, a stock of wheat, fesswise reversed ore. We can probably dispense with fesswise because that's how it would lie on a chief. I'm um, okay with that. But reversed, yeah. Is, but reversed, yeah. And yeah, the color the color corrector picked up for pure in some of it, so that should that shouldn't create an issue. All right, so the only anybody Our, else? The only comment that I would make is the 
mace that is saltier over the um, argent quarters are sh not showing through to the field in the head of the mace. And I don't think it's meant to. It's it's not. It's there. That's supposed to be solid. It, he had just colored them both black before we we caught. Okay. Sounds like a fair story. <laughs> and somebody will. Somebody may well raise the question. And I I don't think it's anything more than an artist note, but. <coughs> All right, so I'm going to make that blazing tweak, and then I'm going to just forward it to Laurel. Okay, moving along. The next one is a name for Emmeline DeCoity. Anybody have anything to say? Looks good. All right, I'll send that up to Laurel, more Capelican, I guess. All right, the next is um, a name and device for Arn Haroldson. Uh, first, his name. Looks good. All right, I'll mark that as send up. That's the name. And let's look at the device. Let me get to where I can... Her chevron ployee, Azure and Argent, two wolf's heads erased, respectant, Argent, and a raven rising regardant, wings displayed, sable. Going once. It's like, have, going. We, have we registered that version of the erased recently? I can't remember. Yeah. Well, it's got three jags, and it's supposed to have three to five, and it's got three. It, it looks erased to me. Okay. It's, they, they're a little thin, but it's not ambiguous. Am I seeing an extra Argent that we don't need for the wolves' heads? Or do we need it because of the comma? It needs to be there. It has nothing to do with the comma, but it needs to be there. Okay. Yeah. It's because field is separate from charges. So. And yeah, besides, right. okay. and besides, brief can change that as needed. Right. Agreed. Understood. Yeah. That's why he gets paid the big bucks. Okay. <laughs> okay well, I'm just going to mark that as uh, send up as is. Okay, so that's number four. Now, item number five is a name for Bartholomew Mercer. I nobody, like this name. I, I do too, but nobody made any comments at all. I did a few minutes ago. <laughs> there are no other Bartholomews registered unless my search is broken. No. I do not see here. I don't see anything for that would be close looking at Mer Mercer. And your the quality of your uh, the the quality of what's coming out of your computer is it's hard to understand you. There's nothing under Mercer. I think is what she was saying too. Okay. Well, then I will just mark that as forward. To Laurel, rephrase. Have and there is, and, and they're registered. It's just that I don't see any conflicts. Excellent. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Item number six: <clears throat> a name and device for Bertram Greenrock. First, his name. Nothing to say about the name? And nope, that's looks nice. fine. Okay. Uh, the device is per Ben Sinister or and Sable, a leaf between a frog sajant affronty vert and three arrows or. Okay. 
the uh, the arrows, the default but, position for an arrow is is pale wise point down. On Krenov, you probably don't need the uh, with the comb research on the uh, the name because Krenov. German and English can't be mixed that early. Do we have a German Bertram then? Uh, you do, yeah. don't you? You do. It's, it's, oh, you, got oh, the you have the talents article. Follow. Okay. All right. Well, so I will make a note to just remove the Withicum documentation. All right. I will. Okay. This came from, this is somebody from Wichita. We've got a couple of submissions from Golden Sea, if I can remember which ones they are. Uh, but yeah, this is from Wichita. Um, and Marie Chantal Delaire is nothing if not thorough. Mm -hmm. Okay, number six name. Move. I was gonna say this looks like her artwork. Yep, it is. Okay. So I have made a note to remove the Withicum docs from the name, but otherwise send it up. Um, and all right, so uh, the device, I did read the, the blazon, per bend, sinister, or in sable, a leaf between a frog, sejanta, fronty, vert, and three arrows, or. Anything to say about the device? All right, well, then I'm just going to send that up. Uh, moving right along. Item number seven. Emmerich Blackpool, name and device. All right, first, the name. There seems to be good, thorough documentation for the name. Anything else to say? Nope. All right, we'll mark that. English them. does allow, um, I believe English does allow unmarked um, locatives. But I'm just double checking. Oh, that's a good question. Yep, I just double checked. It does allow for unmarked locatives. So we're good. Excellent. That may be something you want to just throw in there real quick, just so that um, the Laurel staff don't have to look it up. I'm going to do that. English allows unmarked locatives. Okay. Uh, the device, Argent, atop a base in arched sable, a wolf, sejant, and in chief three mullets, one and two, azure. And I already made the note that this posture is registrable. We just don't blaze it, blazon it as uulent anymore. Anybody else have anything else to add? I the only concern I would see is that top star is pretty much on the top edge of the of the escutcheon, but that's probably an artist note at most. Exactly. Yeah, that'd be the only concern I have really. Um, I would hope so. <laughs> yeah, right. I I don't see it being an issue, but you know. Yes, we have been afflicted with heralds with micrometers recently. So, yes, somebody is going to mention it. And we can tell them to bugger off. <laughs> I've been trying, and I have gotten into so much trouble for that. <sighs> anyway, <clears throat> sorry, the internet is forever. YouTube is forever. Hi, I really do have beer-like qualities. <clears throat> okay, item number, number eight. We have a name... Uh, for Phelan Ingen or Phelan Ingen Ronan, a new name. Nothing to, nothing to add about it. it? No, nope, I think it looks good. Uh -huh. Okay, I agree. And if it needs gaily tweaking, there are people who will who will sing out who know what they're talking about. You're right. 
All right, so I'm just going to mark that one as send up. All right. My only question is, does it need to be, I don't know, never mind. I don't think it needs to be lenited. I think it's. Uh, it is hard. lenited. It is. Well, okay, no, lenition, yeah, Ronan, there doesn't need to be like an H thrown in there. The genitive case adds the I in the second syllable. So I think it's correctly spelled. Okay. I've never. Do the do you ever lenite an R? I've never seen an RH combo. Mm -mm. I, no, I don't think so. I was I was incorrect realizing it as. Okay. All right. Um, moving right along to number nine. This breaks my heart. Uh, her badge. Fieldless, a bear's head, erased, conterny ghouls. Um, Serafina, why did you have to go and be so thorough and actually discover a conflict? I'm sorry. So I guess what I was thinking about was when, when the head is all there is, don't you get more difference for things, little details that would be little if it was the whole animal? But don't you get a, a DC for cooped versus erased? Uh, not that I'm aware of. I, I cannot find the precedent for this at all. Granted, my computer also just told me that it, I, I'm searching illegal things. I don't know why. Um, <laughs> But I, I cannot find any reference to this precedent or what what is versus versus versus. I, I'm not that's not accusing. I am asking where do I find this so I could look it up because I don't remember. And I'm really not good at at precedent diving. So um. I can't answer. I've just always had it in my head since forever that erased versus coop just doesn't count. Um, <sighs> and that goes back to the early days of RFS. Okay. And maybe precedents from even from before RFS. So if Elisif Stirbjorn, our daughter, registered her device in 2014 that's not that long ago does somebody want to try and reach out and see if we can get permission to conflict is it a red bear is it a red red bear's head uh contourney? yeah on black it, um but on black versus fieldless yep. right so we've already okay. got this fieldless dc and then the only other difference at all and it's not worth a dc is that hers is cooped versus Gerode's is uh, erased. Okay. So who would, who would like to take point on this? Everybody is busily putting their finger on their nose, on the tip of their nose, to say "not it," right? Um, um, I, I actually, I was, I was uh, going to the eight belt op. Um. Okay. Oh wait. No. And the picture they have of her device is wrong because they had the head facing to Dexter, but that's it's like, wait a minute. So somebody goofed, but um, she got an. She got a Brony Award out of Mons Tenetris in 2017. Odds, so she's are, still odds are she's still playing. I'll, I'll take point, Dorcas. I appreciate that. Thank you, Zanita. Yep. So, yeah. I will mark that. Okay. Reach, reach out to Marta, I, I, I would say. I don't know who that is. Mar Marta, Marta, who does the Aiden Belt submissions. So what I think I'm going to do is go ahead and send it up with our fingers crossed that a letter of permission can be procured in the next <coughs> few months. Yeah, I'm is just trying to I'm trying to look through precedent to see if I can find anything where 
it states there's a difference between erased and cubed, and that's why I'm just not seeing much of anything. Right. You can set it up. We note the conflict. We are trying to get permission to conflict. I have All spent right. the last half hour trying to do kabost and cooped, and just oh. now realize my error. <laughs> oh. That might explain why I wasn't finding anything. Were you misspelling it? <clears throat> Kabost is not related to cooped at all. Yeah. He, he one head down. Forward. <laughs> so yeah, I was I was just being dumb. Well, that's okay. We still love you. Try to run off with the. I saw. All um, right. Sir. Give me. Ooh. One Do second here. Um. Yes. I don't know if it will. Well, sorry, I'm. I found something that may. Come on. Well, maybe what we could do is go ahead and and. Uh, I'll, yeah, I'll keep looking at this. Yeah, and and if it goes on to the external letter, which I think we're gonna, we've decided that we're gonna do, is put it on the external letter. And then if you find something, you can comment on the external letter or you can okay. tell me and I'll comment it. So I did, find, okay. I did find the precedent. It's from 2007. There's no difference for race versus cooped. Well, poopskies. All right. Well, we kind of knew that. Thank you for, for finding that for specifically. But we will attempt a letter of permission to conflict. Okay. Item number 10, Gottfried's bear, a new badge, fieldless, a bear's head kabost vert. I didn't see anybody with any, finding any conflicts. Other than the blazon fool. There's a C-A-B, not C-O-B. Ah, okay. I will copy. This is weird. Oh, there, I found my cursor. Now I can copy and paste. Ugh. This is so weird. Okay. Oh. All right, so this is me typing, and this is so weird. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Kabost. There we are. Got it. <gasps> this is weird. I need to take my computer into the shop. Okay, moving right along. Item number 11, a name and device for Kenak Armstrong. All right. Nobody found any conflicts with the name. Go Other ahead. than an award for um, outrageously close uh, time constraints. Three years apart. Oh my Excessive god! Excessive yeah. temporal compatibility. Yes, that's the phrase I was thinking of. Excessive temporal compatibility. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So we're just gonna. It spin looks the nice. All right. The device, or a chevron, and on a chief sable, three chess rooks, or. This is pretty nice artwork. Anything else to say? Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. That is sweet. That's kind of nice. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to send that up. Okay. As is. Uh, next item, number 12, a new badge for Ki no Kotori. Azure, a doe at gaze between three triquetras argent to be associated with her alternate name, Alif Inkira. So ultimately right. that ultimately that comes out as badge for that name. But I'm not sure if that is something that happens at the Oscar level or in post processing. Well, there in Oscar there's a drop down that says, you know, does this is this submission to be associated with anything? Okay. And that's where I put in Aleph in Kira. Okay. I, I'm not real familiar with the, the that end of Oscar and 
Yep. It is just... it is fine as entered. Okay. Yep. yep. And it'll come out the other end. Correct. And yes. This is just me with a more, more merciless hat on. Okay, great. Moving right along, item number 13, a name for Lorraine Delaney. Lorraine is gray period, but 1608, so not terrible. And still only within, what, 10 11, years? 11 years. Um, and Cena yeah. Appendix C supports English and Dutch name elements. So... All right, so I'm going to send that up as is. All right, item 14. We have a name for Marilda of Yorkshire. And I had a heck of a time tracking down the name, which is why I put a big red box around the name in the attached documentation. Marilda with two eyes. That's kind of cool. You may want to put a second eye in the Marilda's documented part. Like this. Where? Right after the dash, the second time you have Marilda in the documentation. Uh, Marilda is documented in feminine. I see. So the thing is, Rainey and Wilson has Marilda with one eye. Oh, okay. And the court rolls of the Manor of Wakefield is where we get the Marilda with two eyes. So okay. we're just establishing that Marilda is a period name, and then we're establishing this spelling. Okay. okay. I think do, the doc is right. Do include do include um, the the front page or the the, the title page or, or something like that of the of the document too. Oh God. If you can, if you can. I can, I can, because okay. I have a link, so I'll just go get a hard copy of the front page. Yeah, All right. and My that might also, also, also for the, well, the um, for 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 both of both of the both of the things, yeah, for the uh, for the, uh, the for Yorkshire as well, the Yorkshire thing, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, you, yeah, you need the title page for both of them. Okay. Both elements. Yep. Okay. All right, I will do that. Otherwise, it it looks good, and we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and send that up. Yeah. All right. Is Yorkshire not found in Mills, in the Dictionary of English Place Names? I don't know. It's possible that whoever did this documentation didn't have access to Mills. Okay. I, yeah. I was just trying to simplify the documentation a little for you. Well, if it's. On the other hand, this will bring another. You know. Yeah, this will work. This will work. That's fine. All right. Okay. Moving right along. Item number 15, a new badge for Oswin of Moonstone. Uh, fieldless, in saltier, a bow and sword, inverted ghouls. Overall, a sinister gauntlet over aversant sable. Uh, we need a clenched in there, too. Aversant clenched. Um, I thought that was what the word no aversant means backwards. Sorry. Yeah, aversant yep. means showing the back of the hand rather than the palm. Yep. I did art. Yay me. <laughs> and it looks very nice. It is it is immediately identifiable as clenched and aversant. Yay. So um right, reblay. Oh, let me type. Reblaze on as all right, where do we put the word clenched before or after aversant? I'd put it before. I, I could see it coming all the way before sinister, too, but wreath can move the words around. Yeah, that's true. All right, we're just going to stick the word clenched in there and, and then let wreath move things around. So it will be... Fieldless in saltier, a bow and sword inverted ghouls. Overall, a sinister gauntlet clenched aversant sable. 
<clears throat> and send I that. Like it. I do too. All right. Item number 16 Auto of Fox Hall, a new device change. Per Ben Sinister, per Pure and Sable, a Fox Sejant Conterney, and a Tower Argent. And we have a letter of permission to conflict from his lady wife. And yes, I said, you know, this makes you look like your brother and sister or first cousins at least. And they said, yeah, we don't care. Okay. All right. Informed Anybody consent is important. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. All right. Uh, has anybody uh, got anything else to add, or shall we just send it up as is? Let's go. All right. Sounds good. Item, item number 17. Kadragin in Einig, a new device change. She wants or a Frauen Adler Ghouls, and on a chief Azure, a sun in his splendor, and a moon in her plenitude, or. And the old item, um, the only thing she's changing is the, the chief, but she's releasing her old, or a Frau and Adler Ghouls on a chief, Vert, three trefoils, or. Anything else to add about this one? All right. We will send up as is. Number 18. Okay, I, okay, never mind. Never mind. Skip me. Okay. We like Frau and Adlers. Yeah. Okay. No, I thought there was a typo and there wasn't, so. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> we have established I can't type. <laughs> Okay, Spishy moving Charles make typos, that's a thing. Yep. All right, I moving know. right along. Number 18, a resub device for Roland de Bourbon. Um, it is a resub at Kingdom. He has tried twice at Kingdom. So And I actually and I was actually the herald of record for his original um submission from from Lily's. Mm. Ah. Um, okay, so per pale, per pure, no, oh, sorry, let me start over. Per pale, Azure and Argent, an apple tree fructed counter change, and on a chief per pale, Argent and Azure, three apples counter changed. And I got an email from Alona Esquera uh, suggesting a reblazing of. Per pale, azure, and argent, an apple tree fructed, and on a chief tree apple, all counterchanged. I like that better. And I did look it up, and yes, I see a lot of blazons that kind of are that pattern. If it's a, this is effectively a simple counterchanging, so that makes sense. Yes. Even if it oh. looks complex at first. The only All thing right. you know, that I have on this is on the color version, color and blazon, is that the middle apple, the stem disappears. So it almost looks like a rondelle in my mind. Now, I could be wrong, but still. He did, oh, the computer did this point. himself, so yeah, I can, I can see that. Yeah, if you blow it up a little bit, you do see that it's there, but it's it's not bold. Maybe uh, I, hopefully that can just be an artist note. I'm just very happy that he didn't draw the modern red delicious non-apple. These are actually more period round ish apples. Yeah. The, the, shape, I, the shape is good. And I think the other two having stems, I think the mind will, we hope fill in a stem on the middle apple. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Sounds good. Yeah, the only reason I've been to this because when I looked at it without looking at the blazon, I thought, oh, a rondelle between two apples. <laughs> well, we will uh, cross our fingers. 
but we do have the the note in here that it will be marked as new when it leaves kingdom yeah all right in fact i'm going to copy and paste that into my notes okay okay copy copy control b send up okay all right number 19 we have oh somebody can help me with the uh with the gaelic pronunciation a new name for Serleth conwy it's about what i'd come out with same here i wondered if it was something like surly <laughs> I, I can't say it wouldn't be, but I know what I'd come out with, which would be pretty close to what you did. Okay. Um, do people, are people satisfied with the documentation? Nobody has anything to, to say? All right. I'm gonna mark I you. also double-checked Cena to make sure that Walsh aren't locatives. <laughs> Oh, valid. Oh. Uh, oh. Um, okay. Yes. Well, I will mention. I will mention that. Okay. That's Appendix A. Because it's pattern. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Okay. Seeing so, you know, Appendix A. Unmarked. Locative. In Welsh. Oh, I really can't type. There we go. Okay. So I'm, uh, let's move along then to item number 20. Uh, a request for reblazon for Sancha Lestrange. Sancha Lestrange. Um, Let's see, do I have the current blazon and then the reblazon is oh. down here somewhere? Is that how I see it. Yeah. Okay, so I guess it's currently her pale ghouls and sable, two bat wing snails, volant, respectant, wings erased and a, re, erect and adorced, and a fleur de lis all or. Is that the original blazon, or is that her? No, her. That's the right. that's the requested blazon. So I don't have the original. The original. Blazon here. The original blazon is per pale ghouls and sable, two bat winged snails, respectant wings erect and adorned in base a fleur de lis all or, I believe. Um. That's right below in that next paragraph below from looks like it's pulled from the O and A. Ah, it is. I just didn't put a put uh italics around it. There we go. Okay, mm -hmm. so I'll make sure to add the the formatting for okay. <coughs> anybody have anything to say? Um, I know this person, sort of, <laughs> way back in the day. Um, but, yeah. Well, the fact that an incorrect emblazon was produced from the blazon, that says to me that, yeah, I think it's a reasonable request. Can we change can we make a change? Yeah. Well, I hope we have made a sufficient case, especially with the the two the two pictures. Here's what's registered, and here's the mistaken emblazon that came out. So that, that, I say, that's the only thing is, the case. Yeah, I was gonna say the only thing I could say is that it seems like rolls of arms are notoriously wrong. On yeah. emblazons, you should have seen yeah. the one that um, Ethel Mark put for Shauna. It was like incredibly wrong. Oh. <laughs> um, 
our uh, armorial guy has uh, developed the very good habit of actually looking at the pictures in Oscar and creating his emblazons for the armorial based on the pictures that he that that are in Oscar. So he makes. I can't say he never makes mistakes, but he makes fewer because he pays attention to that. He probably wouldn't have made this mistake. Probably. Well, yeah, from looking at the picture. So um, Gawain suggested a blazon of purple ghouls and sable, two bat-winged snails in chevron respectant, and a fleur-de-lis or. I like saying that they are that the, the the snails are in chevron. I don't know if that'll be accepted. Um, <sighs> that does seem kind of more accurate. If that's See, what she's looking to get. Yeah, that's what I would do. Yeah. I would so, say send it up and let Reith uh, Reith ponder over it. I and I would just include Gawain's um. Uh, suggestion at Reblazon. Let okay. and let Reef play around with it. Right. All right. And definitely including the pictures so everybody can go. Yeah. Oh yeah, those pictures are definitely there. Um, include Gawain's Blazon B L A Z O N suggestion as well. Okay. All right. Well, we'll do that and hope for the best. <laughs> Item 21, a device for Skinna Hrefna. She wants quarterly argent and ghouls, a raven sable upon a man's head erased proper. And we have gone through a couple of different iterations of the artwork. Um, Modar suggested uh, and what she came, what, what she liked, there we are. Modar suggested changing the neck a little bit. And what we ended up with was giving him a shave and a mullet. So, <laughs> in my, party and business, man. <laughs> and and the, submitter, the submitter's on board with that one, with, with the shave and the mullet. Yes. Yes. That's, like that artwork. I mean, the fact that we've got Black Raven on red is it shouldn't shouldn't cause any issues. Um, Neutral field, so. Yeah. I was well, I mean, people were thinking more of the I think the more of the flesh tone on white. Oh yeah, well that's that's. Well, so I can get the new. I have the new forms, and this artwork came from Logan Munro. We are not worthy. We are not worthy. We are not. He is awesome. Just uh, please make sure you comment that the redraw was approved by the submitter. Oh, dear God. We got bitten by that once. Yes, oh, yeah, we're not going to get bitten again. You make Ragged Staff really happy. <laughs> yes. And, and, and if, if you don't mention that, I will mention that kind of stuff when I'm, when I'm kibitzing on here or in Mer Meridiaz is the other place I usually show up. Okay, so my note for this one is that I'm going to make sure to make new forms with the new artwork. And yes, we will mention that the submitter has approved the redraw because that's what we do. We got burned once. We're not going to let that happen again. Nope. And okay. It, moving. Okay, the redraw looks a little less sickly. But he was that, supposed to be dead. That's why he was the skin color was the color it was the first time around. He's dead. All the blood drained out. <laughs> I see now. <laughs> I was intentional. I did not realize that. No, <laughs> this raven is about to chow down on an eyeball. Okay. <laughs> oh, he's feeling a little peckish. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm I'm fairly certain we could get her him a a raven with an eyeball i yeah but that's that's a comment that's for another, 
yeah, that's yeah, for let's another, keep uh, moving. Yes, yeah. Right, because if we added an eyeball, it would delay this submission. No, no, no. That's, no. that's I, I meant for a in badge. The future. Yeah, in the future. Okay. All right. Because she is a taxidermist either by trade or by hobby. And so and she's kind of goth. So she's like all about the ravens and the eyeballs. Mm -hmm. She's okay. not goth. She's Norse. <laughs> and next. See what you did there. <laughs> Item number 22. A new name for Um Tureb Zulaika. I like this name. I was gonna say it's all Arabic to me. Yeah. Not understanding how this is formed based on the document. Sorry, you're breaking up. I can't hear you. I said I'm not understanding how this is formed, documentation provided. Um oh dear, what have I failed to to include? What is what is the pattern of the name? Because I'm uh, looking Umtarebe for Umtarebe is a kunya, meaning mother of dust. Okay. And but, and then we have an ism, and yeah. Uh, so so I mean, is 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 kunya ism a, a an appropriate Arabic name pattern? I have no clue. Ah yes but yes that's, it is. That's the that's the missing step. Is do these. You know, is this is is these two things a valid pattern? And okay. So it explicitly that we have a this and a this, and that's that's okay. Um, and I'm not sure if if Senna is, offers useful things. I was, or if you have to. Yeah, because I was looking for Umab in the, the documentation. I'm like, I can't can't find it. I just can't find the Um. Where's it's coming I'm from? Just, um, I think it's all documented in the patterns and everything are all documented in Dawood's article. Okay. It would be good to cite cite the pattern that be is being invoked. I will. I um, will add that. You know, I, I don't have anything technical to you know, anything substantive to add. No, perfectly but, reasonable. But there's yeah, that's that's just sort of what what's missing. Okay. Perfectly reasonable. I will add that note. All right, then. Number 23. Oh, I see what her problem is. Hang on. Oh. Uh, 22. So I found, I found Turab. I did not find um. Um means mother of. And Dawood's article. Oh, okay. So a kunya is mother of or father of. So uh, Abu Tureb or Abu Tureb. Okay, okay. A kunya is an honorific, meaning uh, your your meaning mother of somebody, and Got normally it. your firstborn son. Uh, I believe uh, never your firstborn daughter. Okay. Yeah, there's a pattern. In uh, his article, it's got a it's got an example. Okay. So people. Don't... All right. So I will mention oh. that Cunha plus ism is a valid pattern uh, per uh, Dawood's article. There, I found my cursor. Okay. Okay. Um, now can we move on to item number 23? Uh, chat. Right. Okay. Um, new name for Wilher Decoity. Nothing to add? Nothing to um, add? Just... So it's a constructed name. Thank you. Okay. There's not a constructed name. 
Mm, so it's okay, not a they, constructed name. There's Wilbur. Yeah, yeah they find they're, they're citing it out of Bo Selton. So. Yeah. Okay. And it's in a numbered report, so that's you, makes it nicer. Yeah, no okay. copy. Um. Okay. Yeah, and it's a. Is and Quiddy is a locative, right? It's yeah. Yep. Okay. And it's yep. not unmarked, so we're good. It looks good. I found no conflicts. Excellent. All right, we are, we are getting there. All right, item number twenty-four: a name for Wilhelm von Permesens. And I was the consulting herald on this one. It took me some time to find a dated citation for Permesens. So, is this the kid that had gone there? Yes. Okay. So, I've been there. It's our place. <laughs> yes. Okay. So Frida's complaint that it's that there is no spelling permissions. That's not so. You've got it right there. Yes. Well, I'm happy about that. Huh. I mean, okay. Frida cited it to 1672, but. I think this is fine. You you you've got you've well, got a source that 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 puts it there and mm -hmm. And we've also I remember precedent saying we will take the modern spellings of locations. We will, but if you use uh lingua societatis, it has to be of place. <laughs> In order to use von, it needs to be the period spelling. But Right. But yet, I, I could do it with Brigitte von München just fine. So it, it's you got a source that that appears to put that spelling in the 15th century. Um, would, it's, it's not technically ling, uh, lingua societatis. It's lingua. It's lingua. It's modern instead of it's using the modern German spelling. Mm -hmm. which, Not, which is lingua societatis. Okay. Right. It used to be called lingua anglica, but yeah. it's now lingua societatis. Right. Okay. Um, but yeah, you've got you've got a you've got a document, a source that, that gives you this spelling, and there can be discussion over whether we buy that that source is accurately recording things. But right. You know, the submitter provided it in good faith. You sent it up in good faith, and the commenters can can hash it out, and then Pelican can decide what to do. <laughs> and then Pelican will probably go to her German source and ask, anyways. So right. you'll be fine. Yeah. Right. And you know, Elfwin may comment on this when it goes up, and you know. All right. So I'm just going to send it up as is. Agreed. All right. We're. Coming into the home stretch, we're rounding the corner here. We're rounding the turn. Okay, here we have number 25 a name and device for William de Fishburn. Um, I believe Lilia, <laughs> Lilia? who it, it was Lilia or Lil somebody. I can't uh, remember. Lilia, Lilia probably did because she has an app, a subscription to British History Online. Okay. So she sent me screenshots and helped me get the spelling of De Fishburn. Looks good. Okay. Um, all right. I will just send that up as is. And his advice, Azure, three chevronels between three fleurs de lis argent. That's very nice. It is nice. It is beautifully simple to the point that I'm surprised that it's not conflicting. Well, three chevronels are not that common. 
I understand. You know, but it's it it's it's very nice. Yeah. It doesn't need to take lots of our time. All right. Even so as I'm just the last thing. Send up as is. And oh my goodness, that's the end of it. Whew. Yay. All right. Nice job. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back and read all of my comments, uh, my my notes, and uh, this is what I hand over to Gottfried. And since before you do that, there are no comments from YouTube. Oh, thank you. I always forget. Okay, thank you for keeping an eye on that. Um, all right, then. Um, item number one, a name. We're going to send it up as is. Item two, the name send up. The device on item two, we will reblazon as quarterly, argent, and sable, two maces in saltier ghouls, and on a chief procure a stock of wheat reversed ore. We're simply removing the word fesswise and send it up. Item number three, the name send up. Four, the name and device both just send up. Five, the name, just send that up to Laurel level. Number six, for the name, remove the Withicum documentations from the name, but otherwise send it up as is. And the device, send that up. Number seven, the name. Um, mention that English allows unmarked locatives per Cena Appendix A and send it up. And the device will send up. Number eight, the name, send it up. Number nine, the badge. Zanita will take point on trying to get a letter of permission to conflict and send it up with our fingers crossed and, and all optimism. Number 10, the badge. Reblazon just to fix the typo. Fieldless, a bear's head cabossed vert and send that up. Uh, number 11. The name and device, just send them up as is. Number 12, the badge, send it up. 13, forward them all to Laurel. No, the name, send it up. 14, the name, uh, include hard copy of the title page of the docs for both elements. Uh, but otherwise, just forward that to Laurel. Number 15, the badge. Reblazon it to add the word clenched. Fieldless, in saltier, a bow and sword, inverted ghouls. Overall, a sinister gauntlet, clenched, aversant sable, and send that up. Number 16, the device, send it up. Number 17, the new device, send it up. Number 18, reblazon uh, with Gawain suggested, re no, with the suggested reblazon from the from the email comment, per pale azure and argent, an apple tree fructed, and on a chief, three apples all counterchanged. And mark it as new because uh, it's a resubmit from Kingdom, so it's new to Laurel level. Uh, number 19, send it up mentioning Cena Appendix A says that unmarked locatives are allowed in Welsh. Number 20, um, add, add some formatting the, to italics to the current blazon and include Gawain's blazon suggestion as well. And I have typos. There we are. Okay. Uh, number 21, the device. I will make new forms with the new artwork, but otherwise send it up as is. Number 22, the name. Mention that Cunha plus ism is a valid pattern per Daoud's article and send it up. 23, the name, send it on up to Laurel. 24, the name, send it up to Laurel. And 25, the name and device, send them both up to Laurel. Did I miss anything? I think you did great. Okay. Thank you. Well, then I'm going to mention that the next decision meeting will be Monday, February 25th. 
And if nobody has anything else to add, I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop the broadcast. Everybody wave bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.